Welcome back to another part of the PHP design series. Um, we're currently just finished up the header area and we're going to move on to the post area now. Um, so let's go ahead and minimize the header area layers and create a new folder and we're going to call this post area and we'll create a new layer in there. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to decide on our post area colors. Now we already have the base color um, here, which is which is fine for our uh, main post area. I'm just going to drag that like so, and then I'm going to drag it below the header area, and I can get rid of this other folder. I forgot we had already uh, created one there, so I'm sorry about that. Um, now, once we have our base color, we then need to select a slightly lighter color and hit OK. Once we've done that, we're going to go to our rectangular marquee tool, and we're simply going to use our select tool here and select out this section and paint that with the paint bucket tool and then we're going to actually drag that all the way across and you'll see here now that we have a nice lighter area and just uh, gonna write some text in here this will just be form thread title and we'll make that be black for now. Make it be about 12 in size. And we'll just kind of position it like so. Now once we've done that, we're going to select this color here and we're going to select a slightly darker color now. And then hit OK. And using our selection tool, we're then going to go ahead and create selection here and we will fill that as well. Now I'm going to create a new image here and I'm going to make it be uh, 35 by 35 pixels and this is going to be our status icon. Okay. Now first of all I'm going to go ahead and paint it a darker color and then I'm going to go into my uh, bevel and emboss and I'm going to change it to uh, chisel hard and size, I'm going to put that to about 2. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on this oval here. And I'm going to go ahead and start saving these images. Now, I'm going to create a new folder here. And I'm just going to call this uh, PHP BB PFL Design. And then inside that, I'm going to put status, stat, us, status. I don't know how to spell today. I'm sorry, guys. And then click on JPEG. And I'm going to put uh, new on this one. And then I'm going to go back in, go to the bevel and emboss, and I'm going to invert that. And save that one there as old.jpg hit save and then I'm going to create a, a X on this one position that save that as closed dot JPEG and we may have to create some more later, so I'll go ahead and save this as a PSD called status icons. That way we can go back in later and edit and create them if we need to. All right, now, and that's where that image there would actually go. So I'm, I'm just going to get rid of that layer because I don't even need that. Um, really, to be honest with you guys, the rest of this uh, stuff can be all done within the coding area. Because uh, it's just plain colors at this point in, in the uh, actual PHPB coding. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this lesson. And um, we will pick up in the next lesson with actually uh, going ahead and starting to save out some of these images um, so that we can start coding them up um, in the PHPBB form software. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to comment below if you guys are liking the series and let me know. Um, you know what you're thinking and and if you guys need any help with anything feel free to send us some messages 
um, either through email, pfltuts at gmail.com, or through the YouTube system. Um, whatever you guys need, we'd love to help you out with it. So have a great day and get ready for the next part.